Hey friends, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you here for another video. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Quenby and I resell online part-time and this channel's a lot about reselling and thrifting and unboxing and all those fun things. I've been selling for over 10 years on eBay. I also sell on Poshmark. I sell live on Whatnot sometimes. I sell to ThreadUp and on Etsy. So I'm kind of all over selling. Today we're gonna do some thrift store shopping. I'm gonna take you to a church thrift store and then I'm gonna show you a haul of things that I bought there. I'll show you a few things that sold and maybe any other little reseller life stuff. So I'm glad you're here. So it's Thursday. I'm done with work a little bit early. And that was Petey, oops. That was Petey. We just met for a quick minute on our lunch breaks. And he said the Redwood Thrift Store is fully stocked. He went there yesterday. He didn't buy much, but he saw a ton of stuff. So I figure I don't have an afternoon psychotherapy client like I usually do. So I think I'm going to pop in and take you guys with me. So let's start in hard goods. If this was $10, look at this gorgeous crock, but I do not need another ceramic crock. I have to be really careful today, friends. I do not need a lot of items. I am looking for maybe some Christmas presents, but I spot this bird and I'm such a sucker for ceramic birds and animals. I like to put them in the garden. This one is $4. I love the colors on that one, but I'm putting it back. Be good, Quenby. What are these? Does anyone know what these are? They're made of leather. Clearly they're camels. They look maybe Indian. They were $2.99 a piece. There were several little leather camels and then a larger one. Here we go with more birds. I think these are ducks. These ones were only $3. This is a beautiful hand-painted ceramic piece. It had a little hook on it. I think that one was made in Mexico. Really beautiful, but not something that I need right now. I sell a little bit of hard goods, but I'm pretty selective because of thinking about shipping. Does anyone know what this is? Is it for lemons? I loved this ceramic, sweet little farmhouse-like piece, but I'm not sure what its purpose is. Let me know in the comments if you know. These are going in the cart, $5 for this bag of ceramic animals. And I picked these up. Most of them are new with tag, napkin rings, Pier 1 imports, $6.99 for the whole bag. But when I checked comps, people were selling them for maybe $20, so I just didn't think it was worth $6.99. I love the mugs aisle. I do not need any more mugs, so please shout at me if I think I'm gonna buy something, and I definitely don't need another white pitcher. I have a collection of vintage pitchers. I tend to not be able to resist them, but I love a good mug and a good pick pitcher. This looks sort of retro to me, and I was trying to read the marking on the bottom. Sweet little sugar bowl here and creamer. I have a sort of vintage farmhouse aesthetic. What about you? So I'm always looking for things that fit that style. These bowls caught my eye. I like the pattern on them and the colors. Let's have a look at who makes these. Let's see. Certified International Made in China. So not too impressive, but pretty cute. Perfect little cereal bowl, but I don't need those. And what do I spot here? Yes, something else with a bird on it. Really pretty kind of 
florals with the bird. I'm not exactly sure what this is because it looks like it has a ribbon to hang it. Is it a little bird feeder? I thought it might be a tea light holder, but then why would it have the little pink ribbon? I'm gonna leave that for someone else. Look at these little fish plates. Those are very tempting. This is pretty fun with the colors, a little tidbit container. This says Avon on it and it's $4, pretty cute. And a little lemon teapot for $1.99. I guess it could be a creamer and it looks a little bit vintage. There are some flowers on the top that were chipping though. And now friends, take a moment to please like the video while you are watching. Okay, so this was a church thrift store and the prices are a few dollars less than Goodwill. So I try and hit it when I can. It's all the way on the other side of town so I don't get there all that often. But I will tell you that this year, they've totally changed their pricing strategy and they've hired people to look up items and price everything up. So it is much harder to find stuff there. This used to be one of my favorite honey holes, but it's not as good as it used to be. But I'm still very grateful to get the stuff I did. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I got, but I just want to let you know, pants are $3.75 and at my Goodwill, they're $6.99 for pants or is it $6? I think it might be $6. Uh, jeans, they're $6 and at Goodwill, mine are 10 here. A dress is $5.25. It used to be $5 and they, they raised their prices and they changed it on their sign and now it's $5.25. <laughs> But a dress is $10 at my Goodwill, so that's like half price, you guys. And a long sleeve top was $4, so I think that covers everything that I got. It was green tag 50% off, but I only found one green tag item. And you're going to see in this video that it's a lot of the things I talked to you about. Bread and butter, mature women's brands, and things that I know sell well consistently. So I got this um, at the very end, which I was really excited about. It's J. Jill, but it's Pure Jill. And when I see Pure Jill, it's kind of like their better line where they use better fabrics. So if it's, if it's a decent piece and it's Pure Jill, I'm usually picking it up. I got this because it's a size large and it's an olive green uh, shift dress and it's got a great fabric content with some 10 cell in there and it has an asymmetrical hem I love to use that keyword asymmetrical hem because a lot of women who dress like in the boho artsy style love it or my other favorite keyword lagging look which is that artsy layering style if I can use those keywords in my um, title and description I'm very happy because women search using those keywords. Keywords are so important on sites like e eBay and Poshmark. So like me, watch a lot of haul videos so that you're always learning style keywords and things that other resellers use so you can improve your listings and make more money. These are J. Jill and they're a size 10 tall. I love having tall and petite and things. Now you'll notice a trend here. These are pull-on corduroy pants. Um, and corduroy's hot for 2022, you guys. You'll see that I bought mostly size large or like size 10, medium. I don't pick up a lot of J. Jill or any of these Chico's or whatever brands if it's small sizes, unless I can get it like really cheap. For example, there was a pair of um, extra small, petite J. Jill pants and they were new with tag and they would have only been $4. And I was like, Quimby, you have a pair of J. Jill extra small new attack pants that have been sitting for you for like a year. So I'm really looking for larger sizes in these brands. It's always amazing when you find some Lululemon at the thrift store. These are the speed tights. I don't see a size tag on them, but I think they're like a six or an eight. Um, you can use Google Lens to take a picture. Do you guys have that on your phone? If not, get it, upload it, download it, whatever the right term is. And um, then you can take a picture of the item or the tag or something and often find a stock photo or the name, the style name of your item. These have a media pocket on the side where you can stick your cell phone and they're full length. I think you all know the Lulu label, but there you go. Lululemon, probably my very best selling activewear brand. You know, there are other brands for activewear that do great for me like Alo, A-L-O, I just don't find it as often. 
there's a lot of good brands, but I just don't find them all that often. These I was glad to find because they're Athleta, my other best selling activewear brand, and they're a size 12. Athleta size 12, yes, and these are a black pull on jogger pants with some pockets. These sell so great, and especially in the big sizes. Here is the price list for this store. It's pretty old fashioned. I spotted this jacket. It's a denim jacket by Madewell, so I was definitely interested. And then I saw the price, $20. <laughs> to me, that just seems quite expensive, even if I was buying it for myself. So like I said, they've got employees looking things up and marking things up now. This is the pants section, which I was interested in because pants are only $3.75. And then I spot these and I'm thinking, oh, please let them be what I think they are. And it's so sweet to find this Lululemon logo. Do you guys find it where you live? I find it every once in a while and it's just such a reliable seller. I'll probably get $40 for these. And this store in particular has fantastic shoes. However, they are often marked up. Great name brands, but not necessarily the best condition either. I liked these floral men's vans in a size eight. I think most vans are unisex. This is a brand to maybe keep your eye out for, Kelsey Dagger. They wanted $13 for these though, and that was too much. Some of the boots sell pretty well pre-owned in the $50 range. These J. Crew shoes were only $5.99 for these calf hair pointed flats. So I put them in the cart. I definitely would have bought those, but upon, upon thir further inspection, they had too much wear on the toes. Otherwise, I would have picked those up. That brand's not bad. Taos, T-A-O-S. Those can sell pretty well, but these were pretty rough condition. But I like that kind of Oxford style. Pair of dance goes, but they were $10. I liked these suede ankle boots and they're a good brand, Paul Green. Comps on these can be pretty good, but these were definitely too big for me and a little too expensive for resale. This next brand is one to keep your eye out for. I don't know how to say it, but they often look this way, Pinkinos maybe? Those are high quality shoes. This I kind of went back and forth about. Um, it's Velvet by Graham and Spencer, which is a pretty good brand. They have had some collaborations with Anthropology, not this piece in particular, but this is a size large and I bought it for style because it's a, a sweatshirt and it's all oversized and boxy in an animal print in a great color combo. So I thought, yeah, someone's gonna want that. It's kind of me. I kind of want it. Awkward reaching into my box. I kind of want it, but I'm not gonna keep it. That's a problem that I have. Chico's, I love you Chico's. Chico size three, that's one of their newer tags. This is Pima cotton. If you see Pima cotton, P-I-M-A, that's a very high-end cotton. Usually comes from Peru. It's more expensive, so I pick up stuff that says Pima cotton. This is a size XL long tunic top with pockets in a snakeskin print. This cost me $4. I think I have it listed up there for $34.99. I might take best offer on it and I might take an offer of like 30 bucks. This is a really good brand, Vince, V-I-N-C-E period. It is not Vince Camuto. Although Vince Camuto stuff can sell okay. These are very expensive. This is a pair of women's leggings, size medium and a navy blue. 
but they're what we call a ponte knit. Are you guys familiar with that term? Um, they're a heavier knit. They almost feel like spanks, like a heavier knit spandex. So in my title, I will put um, ponte knit, heavier knit. They, they, these feel so good, like amazing. These are Fabletics and I bought them because they're new with tag and I found a nice stock photo. They didn't have these mix uh, marked up. So you can see on here it says $54.95. Fabletics is like an online, how would you describe it? I think it's like a fitness subscription, like a subscription service type thing. Like you join Fabletics and they're always having these amazing deals. Um, and they usually sell for me for around like $18, $20 for a pair of leggings, pre-owned. These are the high-waisted seamless stripe legging. And they're a size medium, so that's good. They're not like extra, extra small. A black skinny legging with a nice um, stripey down the side, some stripey action. Now this, oh my God, this this haul is like, now there's some kind of bolo E brands in here, like Vince and, and stuff, but this is like higher end mature women's mall brands that sell all the time for me in like the 20, to $40 range. This I bought, I've got some things to say about it, so settle in. <laughs> this is like an amazing piece. This, it feels extraordinary. It's a sweatshirt knit, but it's like that great feeling sweatshirt. I guess it's like a mini dress or a tunic. There's elastic at the bottom of the sleeve, so it's like a balloon sleeve. It totally looks free people, doesn't it, you guys? It's new with tags. They had it marked up to $10. And the brand is, I don't know how to say this, Mio Muse. I'm gonna show you the tag. M-I-O-U-M-U-S-E. Nice cloth tag. Now, my phone was dying at the thrift store, so I didn't get to look this up. So I went by, I like the style a lot. I might keep it for myself. So I'm willing to pay 10 bucks and it felt really good. Now I did a little bit of research on this brand and I think it's like a boutique brand that you can buy wholesale. So I can't tell exactly what it's selling for um, on their site because you can buy them and like, you pick out your piece and you can buy like 30. So I think it's boutique wholesale. The comps were pretty good on eBay and Posh or people have them listed for a lot. There was not a ton of sold comps. So I've got more research to do. I might be keeping this amazing piece, um, but I think I could sell it on style keywords and stuff. This is new with tag J. Jill plus size. That to me is like reseller gold because J. Jill is a good brand and it's a plus size you know, size XL and above do the best in these brands, and it's new with tags, and it's a great style. Classic peasant top with a tassel, and it's all eyelet. That'll sell, you guys. That'll be an easy 30 bucks. Some more J. Jill, I don't have to keep showing you, but this is Pure Jill. I've sold these pants 100 times, so I'll just show you. Pure Jill, and it's like the indigo line. I own these pants. Let's have a little chat, ladies, shall we? These look like denim, but they're pull-on. Now, I'm 46, I'm middle-aged, and I love the pull-on pants. I totally love pull-on pants. I have so many pairs of awesome denim in my closet, and my sister was here visiting. She's gonna be 50 this year, she's awesome. And I was talking to her about the jeans and how they're, they're just not comfortable, nothing's fitting right, and she's like, oh, well, I was talking to my friends, and none of us wear jeans anymore. We don't even wear the jeans, we just wear leggings or whatever, and I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> so I'm loving the pull-on pants. I wear these to work like with a, a nice blouse and they look denim-y so they look good with boots or whatever. And I've sold this pair of pants probably for 25 bucks plus shipping a million times. Similarly with these, I've sold these a million times too. This was the only thing I found that was green tag. Soft Surroundings size petite extra large. Soft Surroundings is another expensive catalog brand and I love their styles. Petite extra large, yes. Pull on denim leggings, and they have this snap detail. I've sold these. I can't remember the name, but I'll put in these features into Google and I'll find them. They're called like the pull on snap legging or something. 
probably another $30 sale right there. And these were half off, so they were only three bucks. That's like 10 times in my money. And finally, I showed you these in the video. I haven't opened them yet. So I see it looking like this. Now my store does not do baggies. Let me know in the comments, do you go to Goodwill or another store when they have like baggies like this hanging in their price? I've seen it in other people's thrift with me videos, but I've never seen that at any stores near me where there's just baggies of stuff with a price. So I was kind of excited. I haven't even opened it, but these are ceramic made in Japan. They're different ornaments. Like there's chicken, a monkey, a fish, and they're gorgeous. I, they look hand painted to me. So I figured for $5, I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to like attach them to Christmas gifts as like a little bonus. So I make my own Christmas tags. Usually, you know how on Christmas you can buy tags that say like two from, I just make my own and um, I use some little string and I tie it on. So I figure I'll tie on one of these. They're not heavy. There's a dragon. I mean, I love these things. A bunny, like this is the treasure. This is the treasure you find. I love treasure hunting at the thrift store. Okay, it's Monday afternoon. I'm here in my garage, which is my inventory storage area. And I'm just pulling a few things that sold today. I have a thousand items listed on eBay and probably about half that listed on Poshmark. Let's take a quick look at just a few things that sold today. Okay, I sold these anthropology pants. They're a camo pair of pants, straight leg. I took an offer on these of $20 on Poshmark, and you know Poshmark takes a 20% fee, mostly because they were size 26, which is a small size, a little bit of a harder sell, so I'll get those shipped out. This, most of you probably saw in my most recent video, this is a Free People hoodie. This sold right away. My goal was to get $40 for it, and I got 40 bucks. Now, I did pay up for this. I paid $14, so 40 was the lowest I was willing to take, but it sold immediately. And these are a new-to-me brand. I'll, sh I'll pop up pictures of these. These are a men's brand called Tommy John, and these sold uh, pretty quickly and for pretty good money, too, off the check, but I want to say 25 bucks. Here we are in my garage, which is my inventory storage area. I just have these um, plastic bins and these shelves from Home Depot, and I'm just pulling some of the orders. I'll show you a few more things that sold today. This is that Banana Republic blazer size two. Now, more than likely, I got this in a mystery box or something because I wouldn't probably pick up. This is like an older tag, Banana Republic. And a size two, I would not go out and thrift that trying to resell. It's just kind of a hard sell, but $25 plus on Poshmark, they have to pay shipping and tax. And so their total is usually $10 more than that. So if someone paid like $35 uh, for a Banana Republic size two blazer, that makes me happy. I have a lot of blazers. I get them a lot of mystery boxes. I don't pick up blazers usually unless they're really great. Career wear is just kind of a hard sell harder sell for me. I also sold some free people jeans size 31. Every time I don't find some, whenever I don't find something like immediately, I have this panic thought like, OMG, did it sell on eBay? And I forgot to delete it from Poshmark. I use Vendu to cross post. I have video tutorials about it and a discount link in the description, all that stuff if you want to learn more about cross posting. But ever since I started cross posting, I'm always afraid like it's sold. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if it's sold? And then I'd have to cancel. I hate that. I hate that, but. Oh, and then that wash of relief when you find it. Like, yes. Just some free people snake skin jeans. I'll pop pictures up. 20 bucks. Um, straight leg or skinny leg animal print jeans. Those are kind of an older pair of free people jeans. So no biggie on that one. I think there was one other thing. Oh, the Prana sweater. So that's probably with sweaters. Okay, and I sold this Prana sweater on Poshmark. It's a size medium. I'll show you a picture. And I took a $20 offer on this. I was, I think, hoping that I could get $25 or $30. Prana does pretty well. But when someone sends me a $20 offer, it's hard to refuse that because this person with tax and shipping is paying like $30 for a pre-owned size medium Prana sweater. So feels pretty good to me. If I picked this up at regular Goodwill, I probably paid $6. I might have got it at 
half off sale at Salvation Army, which would be only paying $3.50, but either way, I'm making a profit. Let's get this stuff shipped out. Let's take a quick spin through the top section here at this thrift store. Tops were $4, which is less than my Goodwill. At Goodwill, they're six. And I did pull this piece. Do you recognize that tag? That is Anthropology brand. And this was a size small, a great mustard color. I put it in my cart, but I did pass because it had too much wash wear. Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. This is a discontinued line and they make some great stuff. I wasn't crazy about that piece, but if you find the stuff that looks Southwest or Aztec, it can sell really well. Just some basic brands, reseller life, just flipping through, trying to find something good. Now this was pretty cool to find Harley Davidson. Let's check this piece out. They have it marked up at $12 and it's kind of a sheer red top. So I didn't think it was good enough. I passed on that. Let me know if you would have bought it. Here's some good old Chico's. I didn't want to play full price though. If it was a size three, I might have content considered it. Habitat's a great brand, but I didn't like this particular piece. And here's that great top that I shared with you in the haul earlier. I was so happy to find J. Jill knew a tag plus size. And this moment here, do you see them? What do you spy on the top shelf in the far right? Could they be? And no, fooled again. They are not raw. And I love you guys and I appreciate you for watching another video with me. Please make sure to like the video and um, subscribe so I can see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I love you guys. Bye. Let's see if we can get this camera set up. I think the light might be sort of bad today. really good a few dollars left less bloopers let me get my receipt i know i stuck it in here here we go which was also a great sale because these are out of my own closet probably i don't Probably I just can't fit in a 31 anymore, if I'm honest. Oh! <laughs> I need water. This is something I do all the time. It takes me a minute to set up my camera. I do not have a dedicated space where I can make these videos. I'm in my living room. Here we go, living room tour. Ooh, here's the outside. I don't know if the light is good enough, my little porch. But it's like, it's been raining here in Northern California. It's kind of rainy rainy weather i wasn't sure if i could film in here with the rainy weather but i get all set up like okay let's do this and then i don't bring the water over or whatever else so i'm gonna grab it now we're all friends here this is the real deal there is no water in here i'm back did you miss me i'm back boy can't believe they still let me make youtube videos it shouldn't be such a big deal. You know. What else do I have to pull? There was something else. There were three things that sold. Where are these three people jeans? Girl. Dreaded mom. Here they are. Let's ship it. Ship. We'll si ship this sweater. We'll ship this sweater. <laughs> Wish you guys were here. This would be so much more fun.